Hello my lovelies, welcome to a new video. Today I have a H&M haul and oh my god, it's a good one. So if you would like to see the bits that I picked up, then stay tuned. <music> So hello my lovelies, welcome to a new video. Hello if you are new over here, hi my name's Jodie. Over on this channel I do everything to do with plus size fashion. Along with plus size fashion I also am a mum and I do a little bit of lifestyle vlogging. I love skincare, hair care and makeup. So you'll literally see a bit of everything over on this channel. If that sounds like a channel what you would love to watch and be part of, I would love it if you would become part of my YouTube family. All you need to do is click the big red red subscribe button below this video and don't forget there's a notification button if you tap on that it will notify you every time I've uploaded a new video and at the end of this video if you do enjoy it don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below it honestly it really helps my channel out if you give it a thumbs up or maybe share it to a friend and also commenting down below because I love speaking to you guys I love hearing what inspired you in this video and if you um, have picked anything up from whichever brand that I am doing on that video I honestly love talking to you so do comment down below so today I have a H&M haul and I am so excited I am so excited because my last H&M haul wasn't so good literally the sizing was so off and I've watched a few other H&M hauls and I've seen the same issue with all different size women trying H&M um, and doing H&M hauls and getting the sizing wrong or just the sizing just not being right. So there is a bit of an issue with H&M and their sizings. I think we get all a bit confused because they do like the small, the medium, the large XL, the double, triple XL and then they do a bit of like sizings that they do like a, um, you know, the normal sizes like a 10, 12. It's just really confusing. So um, yeah, today is a really good one because the sizing I got kind of right. Some of the pieces are a little bit big but um, and some are a little bit small but overall it's a good haul and it's a big one. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you those pieces. I will say for everybody that's um, totally not relevant to this video but um, I, since go, coming back from Paris, I've gained a little bit of weight. It's been half term and the kids have been home and everything's been a bit, and I've had severe pain um, because I do have chronic illness. So I do um, suffer with arthritis and fibromyalgia and some other chronic illnesses and I've not been great. And so my eating hasn't been great. So yeah, I've put on about six or seven pound and it's really starting to bug me. So I'm thinking that I need to get my butt into shape and start getting back on this healthy eating and just making right choices so I thought I'm going to start maybe doing some videos on maybe a week um, and what, I, what I'm what i eating throughout the week and just have that because I feel like that will um, give me a bit of encouragement filming it for you guys showing you what I'm eating and just really getting back to the Jodie when I was kind of more in control and making better choices because I have lost sort of just over over four stone um and i want to keep it going down and not up because uh, because of the pains in my knees i really do need to be lighter than what i am so yeah hopefully i will um get that video started and maybe do it over the next few weeks maybe i'll do a couple of days of what i'm eating or maybe i might do it on monday to friday and showing you what i'm eating throughout the day and just have that sort of diary um and i know it will probably be helpful for you guys i've had a lot of people ask me oh, what do you eat when i you know was losing the weight and um yeah so i thought i'd do that but anyway i thought i'd mention that um but without further ado let's jump straight into it i will say i have done styling clips for you <sighs> honestly it is so hard it is it takes a lot out of you to do that or a lot out of me but i really wanted to do this for you especially because there's some really great pieces so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to show you the item in my hand now talk a little bit about it and then put a um clip up of me wearing it and how i styled it so i hope you'll enjoy this video 
I will not be sort of converting to that type of video. It will just be spontaneous. When I feel like I've got the energy and my pain levels are lower, then I will create a few styling videos where I've styled the outfit up and do the cutaways. But, you know, I normally just put on the outfit and we talk as I put work as I talk as I've got them on. Um, but today, yeah, I have those clips for you. So I'm really excited for you to see them. Anyway, let's get the first item and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so this is the first dress and it is this really beautiful cream dress which it's like a cream or off-white it's got shearing sort of a, above the bust line and then on the waist which creates a really nice effect up here the neckline is let's tuck this in the neckline oh let me get it in so yeah the neckline is like this kind of like gathered lettuce hem kind of neckline which is really pretty something really different it's a short sleeve as you can see here uh, the length of this is really nice as well you'll see in the cutaway but um I really like this dress I liked it on the model when I thought I'd give it a go I will say I think it's a little bit it um a little bit big for me like it felt a little bit too baggy on the bust um so I'm tempted to reorder this and get a smaller size because I feel like it, the smaller size will fit me now and also will be um it will still fit me even if I lost weight as well because there is stretching it it's double lined I think I said that already the length of this is really nice and you'll see the way I styled this up I think I wore some brands like sort of um kind of sandals or like wedge sandals and I think it looks really really nice I don't know um, if I showed you this bit, but it's got like a little gold um, button at the back here with this tiny little bit of opening here. Uh, so overall, a really nice dress and I would really recommend this. I love a white dress or an off-white or cream dress for the summer. And yeah, I, I, I'm definitely going to reorder this in a size down and see if that fits a bit better. But um, overall, it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. I loved it. Next up, we have this wrap dress. It's a faux wrap and it's got these kind of long sleeves with these slits on the arms, which I thought was really nice. You can really see it on the model um, on the H&M website. The colour of this, I thought, oh, we'll go for a brand. But I personally don't know if this colour was for me. It's very close to my skin tone. I feel like if it was more chocolatey brand or a different colour, I think I would have liked it a bit more. However, it does look really nice. It feels beautiful. Like, the material of this feels really, really nice. It's kind of like a crepe material, and it's not too thin. It's quite a nice sort of thickness, and it's not too thick. Um, I got it again in the double XL, so XXL. And um, I, I really liked it. I love the length of this as well. A really nice length. It's got a collar on there. Um, you'll see in a cutaway what it looks like, how I paired it. What did I pair this with? I think I paired it with some black sling backs and just like a little uh, black bag. Just to show you what it looked like maybe of an evening. Um, but yeah, I... I like this, but I think I'd probably like it better in the black. And I'm pretty sure this did come in black. So, yeah, I'm not sure how much this was because, obviously, I don't have the pricing. Um, but I will put it on the screen. That's annoying because I really want to know how much these pieces were. Maybe I'll look on my other phone and pull it up just so that I can say if I think it was worth the price or whatever. But, um, yeah, I love the length of this. Overall, I really like this dress. But for me, I think I would prefer it in another colour. So yeah that's this one thumbs up let's go to the next one okay so I just got it up on my phone and I just really just seen that I paid £15 for that brand dress and that is such a good price for that dress like really good price I'm so surprised the quality for £15 absolutely brilliant so um, I don't know if I got a discount off of that but I paid £15 so I'm hoping that it is that um, so let's go on to the next item so the next item is just this plain hoodie i love a h&m hoodie i really do and they last so well 
honestly, I got h and I got, I got a sort of beigey colour one and a black one. And honestly, I got it a couple of years ago and they're still going strong. However, they're just too big for me now. So I did sell them on Vinted. But if they weren't too big for me, I would have kept them. So I thought I'd pick another hoodie to try. And this is like a really nice sort of Marvel. I think it's called Marvel Grey. Um, it's super duper soft. It's not too thick and not too thin. It's right there in the middle. And um, you'll see the way I paired this. I just paired it with a white t-shirt underneath, a pair of black gym leggings and my Adidas um, Sambas, which are like grey, white and black. And yeah, I just really liked that outfit with this. So yeah, that's the kind of outfit that I would go to just to wear every day, like being comfortable and just um, popping on a hoodie. So yeah, and I will say like putting a white t-shirt on really does kind of elevate the outfit just gives your um your outfit that little bit more interest so um if you just put nothing underneath then it kind of just looks quite plain and like you've just got a hoodie and a pair of leggings on but putting a white t-shirt underneath and just so you can see that little white color at the top and a little bit of the white t-shirt at the bottom really does elevate the outfit and make it bring it up that couple of notches so um that's one tip for me if you um like to wear hoodies and leggings putting like a little layer up a layering piece by a little white t-shirt underneath will really make a big difference so yeah really really like this um how much should we pay for this let's um quickly have a look um so this was which you'll have it on the screen but i want to have a quick look to see what the pricing was for this and tell you if i think it was worth it where are you i don't see it on this oh okay i see it here 12.99 absolute still that is amazing. I really, really like that. You've got the silver hardware on the um, on the rope things here. The what are these called? Strings. Um, so yeah, really, really like this. A real nice plain grey hoodie, which I think we could all do with. I, I mean, yeah, I love a sort of a hoodie. So yeah, thumbs up for this one. So next we have this double blaze double breasted blazer and here it says that it's in light green i mean it yeah it's got a tinge of something um but it almost looked like a, it almost looks like a tinge of i don't know is it green is it, it yeah it's probably is yeah it's a real kind of really tinge of green um but yeah this was 18 pounds again i got it in the xxl as you can see here it really was quite sort of oversized on me and i feel like i'm not really a fan of oversized blazers or i'm not really a fan of anything oversized i just feel like for me personally on my plus size body oversized just swamps me and doesn't do anything for me um so i don't really tend to go oversized maybe a size bigger in like hoodies and stuff like that um so yeah i put this on and i was a bit like oh but actually i think it looked really nice the way i paired it i just took the gray hoodie off and i based my base was exactly the same it was just a white t-shirt with black leggings and still um the adidas sambas on my feet and i thought that outfit looked really kind of cool relaxed so that's the kind of way to dress kind of relax but elevate your outfit a little bit and stick a blazer over the top so um yeah really liked the look and actually you know i'm like mm, should i should i should i keep an oversized um blazer in my wardrobe because a lot of my uh blazers are sort of fitted so yeah i don't know i mean i've got another one to show you so i'm not quite sure i might keep one of them um but yeah i i really do like it and for the price it's double lined and i would say that it's not the best feeling blazer that i have but certainly not the worst like it is still a nice quality like it's better than kind of like maybe boohoo or somewhere like that um but yeah it says it's a linen blend as well and yeah I really, really like this, so it gets a thumbs up from me. Next up is another blazer. Let me pop my head over this side. So this is another double-breasted 
blazer this color is a beige which i was looking for because i don't really have a beige blazer i had like a kind of light brown blazer which i sold on vintage because it was a bit too big for me and i weren't really feeling it anymore and then i come across this one on h&m and i thought i'd give it a try again double breasted which means that it is a slightly um a little bit more sort of baggy fitted or oversized fitted but again i really liked the way i paired it with the outfit so i think i styled this with a t-shirt that i picked up from uh george asda which has got london tan written on it or it's got london and it's got a uh, sort of the, a picture of london tan on it i really like that t-shirt as soon as i see it on the website i was like i've got to have that and i think i paid I don't know, about a tenner for it. Really nice t-shirt. So I will link that down below if anyone's interested. I love a, a sort of a graphic tee under a blazer as well. Um, so I styled this with the graphic tee underneath. And then I think I put some jeans on with it. Um, and did I put trainers on my feet? You will see in the cut out. But I really like the way I styled this. Oops, excuse me, my other phone's going off. I really like the way I styled this. This on my on my order form, it says that I paid sixteen pound for this blazer, and again, that is a absolute bargain. Like that's cheaper than Primark. Um, and the quality of this is really really nice. Again, it's double lined. It's not. Um, it's not very thick and it's more of a unstructured blazer so it's quite loosey-goosey if you know what I mean um, whereas like some of the other blazers that I have are more kind of structured and a bit more upright both of these blazers are the last one I showed you and this one are a little bit more kind of loose fitting more comfortable more relaxed um, but yeah I really liked it I liked the contrast of these darker buttons on there as well and yeah overall really really nice it doesn't have the slit at the back as you would have seen in the cut away um and yeah i really like this so it definitely gets thumbs up and for 16 pound what a bargain right let's get the next one but next we have this black dress which has this little sort of tie detail here um it has no sleeves and it is a wrap detailed dress is it a true wrap it is a true wrap, but I just put this over my head. So, um, yeah, I just put it over my head. Again, I ordered this in a 2XL, and I really like this dress. However, I do feel that it was a little bit short for me. So, I'm just looking down. I just want to see how much I paid for this. Um, so, okay, so this dress was 20... Okay, so this black one, I got it for 24 99 Um, I did actually pick this up in a red as well. So, the, this one was 24 99 Um, and the material, I don't know if you can see, but it is kind of like a little bit of a sort of rougher crepe material. It feels really nice. It did feel really nice on, and I did like it. And you'll see the way I paired it. I paired it with like a dusky pink... A waterfall jacket which is old I can't remember where I got that from it's quite a few years old quite a many years old um and yeah I paired it with that with my black slit uh kitten heel slingbacks they're the most comfortable is heels I will not wear any other heels apart from them little kitten heels are the way to go um so yeah, I, I pay, paired it with the kitten heels with the dusky pink waterfall jacket and I really liked it. So I would wear this with the jacket, um, but I didn't feel very comfortable when I took it off. I just felt a bit too naked, like I felt like I had too much leg on show with too much arm. I'm kind of like, if I show a lot of sort of up here, then I have my legs covered. So it's either one or the other. Um, I'm not really a big fan of like showing my legs off really. Um, so yeah, for me, I felt like this made me feel a bit too naked and that's why I put a jacket over and I think it looks really nice with the jacket. However, with the jacket, you don't really get to see the sort of beauty of this little um, tie detail here. Um, so yeah, for me, I would, I'm not gonna keep this because yeah, I just feel like, you know, I'm not getting to show off this and I don't think I'd reach for it that often because, yeah, it, if it was slightly longer, then I would have definitely kept this. If this was a bit longer and it wasn't so, like, 
it's not super duper short anyway but i just feel like it's too much sort of flesh on the bottom half and on the top for me so um yeah that's me but overall i really like the dress i think it looks beautiful one and i think this will look fab on so many so yeah really really happy i've got it so yeah i've got it for 24.99 and then let me show you the red one so i've got it in red as well let me go get that so um, here it is in red it's a really beautiful like letterbox red and actually i feel like i really like this one i, I really liked it You'll see in the cutaway for this one, I think this one was, I think I've just tipped my tea over. Um, sorry. All right, getting a bit sidetracked here. I was going to stand up and show you these pieces stood up, but oh my God, my knees are absolutely killing. So I'm sitting down. I'm trying to do the best job by going like this, but whether it's going to work or not, and whether you are going to be like, Jodie, we can't really see the item, but I have done the cutaway, so you will see it in the cutaway. Um this dress i try to pair it and um put it with some sandals even though um it's quite a, a dressy dressing you could dress it up but i just thought if you wore this on holiday you could wear it in the evening with some sandals and that's what i the, the kind of thinking behind the way i styled this dress so i put it with some sandals um and thought it would be a really nice dress for like an evening on holiday um I really like this colour. I think I probably like this colour more than I liked the black. Although I did really like the black. I just wish it was longer. But if I was to pick out of the two, I'd probably go for this one because it's red. It's a brighter colour. And actually, I feel like I could get away with wearing sandals with this and dressing it dressing it down with sandals and wear it like in the evening, um, on a summer's evening, on holiday or something like that. Whereas the black one... It's just a bit of a harsh colour. I don't think it would look that great with sandals. I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me because I'm not an expert. But yeah, this is the next one. Um, and this is it in, in red. And um, I think this was a little bit more expensive than the black one. Because when I'm looking on my... Um, when I'm looking on my screen here, I think it's telling me I paid $27.99 for this red one. So I'm not quite sure why I got one cheaper than the other. I don't think I had any H&M discount, member discount this time. I'm not sure. But I will re-look on the website and make sure that I put the right price on the screen for you. Anyway, let's get the next one. But next up is this really beautiful white shirt. I mean, it's just a plain white shirt, but it's not just a plain white shirt. It is a really nice, plain, crisp white shirt with this beautiful kind of lettuce hem um, neckline. So there's no collar on this. It's just got like this lettuce kind of uh, detailing across the neck. Um, again, in the XXL, it's a complete button down and the sleeves also have the um, kind of frill on the sleeves as well and i just really loved the fit of this you'll see in the cutaway how i styled it i styled it with my black wide leg trousers that i got from asos i don't know if they're still in stock because when i bought them they were almost out of stock i got them in a size 22 just hoping that they would fit me because every size was sold out and there was only one 22 left and when it came they fit so i was like oh my god yippee so um if they're in stock i will link it down below but i started with yeah i sold it with um my black asos wide leg trousers um and i think i put my black kitten heel sling backs on and yeah i just really liked that outfit to the point that i thought oh maybe i might keep this because i really like that outfit um but overall really nice shirt and um let's see i need to keep my phone on because it keeps going off so for this shirt let me see how much i've paid for it let's see 11 pound oh my goodness me that's 11 pounds wow 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 i mean the quality of this like the the material feels really nice it feels like a real like a cotton um let's see what inside this 100 cotton this is a really nice shirt and 11 pound wow that's amazing and that gets 
a massive thumbs up from me. Really like that. Right, let's get the next one. Okay, so another blazer. So this is just a white blazer. I would say this was really quite oversized on me. But again, I really like the way I styled it up. Um, this is, again, a linen blend. Um, and it's in the just the X 2XL. And I definitely could have sized down in all of these blazers. However, the double-breasted ones, I could have sized down, but probably not been able to button them up. But I don't button them up anyway. So if you want a sort of a smaller fit, then size down because these are quite, um, they are quite oversized, I would say. And I would say these, the, the shoulder, these have got shoulder pads in. I felt a little bit like this, but I did like the way it looked, the way I styled it up. So I styled this up with just a white vest underneath, as if I can remember rightly, and my black ASOS wide leg trousers with my black um, kitten ill sling backs, which I got from um, ASOS a really long time ago, probably about two years ago, um, the kitten heel sling backs that I got. Um, so yeah, I styled, that, styled it up. I think I had a red lip on as well and I, I really like this outfit. I thought it looked really cool, really, really nice, effortless, just a white vest with the blazer and the black trousers and I just felt like what a good look. So yeah, really like this. It's um, yeah, a linen blend and there's no slit at the back. It's just just a straight down blazer i will say these get quite creased um because i have ironed them but they look creased already so i guess you're gonna have that with um a linen um they crease really quickly but overall really really nice and um i'm looking at the price again i need to so this one was 19 pound um, which you'll see on the screen. Actually, not bad. Not bad at all. It's a really, really nice blazer. So, yeah, it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. So, next is this. It's like a linen shirt. And it says Mama. So, before and after. So, I feel like this is, I think, it, I'm sure it is a maternity shirt. But I don't mind. If I like it, I'm going to try it. And do you know what? I really liked it. And you know what drew me to this was this drawstring in the middle. I love a shirt that has that. I've got two shirts that have that drawstring. And I think it's great for really sort of showing off your shape but not having tight clothes. Because I'm all about sort of showing off your figure, showing off your shape but not sort of provocatively how is that how you say it or not sort of wearing really tight clothes but wearing clothes that will define sort of your shape um by having a little drawstring and it's still sort of baggy over my tummy area with the places that i want to be covered so yeah i really love the fact that this had that that detail on it um the color of this is really nice and if you'll see in a cutaway i just paired it with my primark um skinny jeans um and what did i have on my feet i think i had my brand ballet flats on my feet which i got from amazon and it was just like a really nice sort of um basic outfit but could really clean and fresh looking um so yeah really really like this and as soon as I put it on, I was like, I really like that. So I might keep this actually because I, I want to sort of keep things that I know that I'm going to wear and that will go with a lot. This these, this would go with white bottoms, black bottoms, any colour really. Um, So yeah, a really nice sort of capsule piece to have in your wardrobe, especially if you're like a shirt wearer. And again, anything that has this jaw, jawstring in it, just to kind of cinch you in a little bit, give you a little bit of shape, I'm all for. So for me thumbs up so next we have this really beautiful black dress and i really really like this so let me put my head over this side i really like this i love like just a plain kind of utility black dress or that kind of style for the summer on even actually throughout the year so this isn't very thick it's um uh quite lightweight but has a little bit of thickness into if into it as well but this looked so nice and felt so comfortable on. I kind of dressed it down and wore some Havana slip, uh, um, flip flops, white flip flops with a white bag just to do that black and white look. And honestly, it was just like a really easy outfit just to sort of throw on 
and go about your day and it just it just is so nice you could do so much with this you could dress it up dress it down i love these buttons on the front here as well so you've got the light the contrast of the light buttons and that's why i went for a white flip flop um and just wanted it to i wanted to kind of make it a little bit more summery looking and that's why i put the flip flops on um and the sleeves are quite floaty as you can see here on your arm they're quite floaty um, this little jawstring as well tie up it really does look nice sometimes I'll be inclined to take it off or put my own but I actually really liked it with this on there as well um, yeah the length of this as well it was a really nice length so I think it's like a bit of a midi length and yeah I really really like this and it's definitely one that I'm thinking about oh maybe should I keep but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sorry I'm looking down because I'm going to go back into my phone and see how much I paid for it okay so it's $21.99 not bad at all really good price actually um and yeah I'm going to look through my wardrobe and see what black dresses I have in there because I can't remember and um if there is a sort of a, a need for this then it will be one that I keep because I feel like you could easily um put some tights on with this and some boots you could actually wear it all year round um so yeah really really like this it definitely gets a thumbs up okay so next we have this and i know that this is this this what's it called it's embroidery embroidery boucle i can't even say it i don't know i'm not i'm sure you guys will let me know what how do you say it i can't remember but anyway this beautiful material i know it's so popular with so many people and that's why i picked it it is a really nice sort of is it called a a pullover when you don't have any buttons and you just put it over your head um but yeah i really like this i like this sort of v um neck here um it's got slightly a little bit of a collar but just a tiny little rand neck collar at the top here and then it goes down into a V. I feel like this looks really nice. The sleeves are beautiful as well. You'll see in the cutaway the way I styled this. I mean, I was torn, right? Okay, you had to style it, but I had my black shapewear underneath. And because it's black shapewear, it was black up here. And underneath this, you could see my black shapewear. So, and I really didn't want to take my shapewear off because I was trying so many bits on. And so um, I just felt like I'll put some black jeans on with it just so that it kind of like sort of the black you could see it all run through. However, this would look really nice with some blue jeans, white jeans even. And obviously I wouldn't wear my shapewear underneath it. So yeah, I just paired it with black uh, bottoms because I had the shapewear underneath and you could see the black through the shirt um but it still looked good with the black and white and i think i put some brown ballet flats on with it and a little sort of uh sort of straw bag i think a really old one from i don't know i think it was maybe h&m a really long time ago so um overall really really nice this was 27.99 i think it says so it was the price is a little bit more up there um yeah so 27.99 so the price was a little bit up there i mean for what it is definitely i would i'd say it's a good price i would actually possibly keep this actually because i think it is one that i would actually wear quite a bit throughout the summer um let me know what you thought about it and how you would wear it so yeah that's this one but next we have just this plain black t-shirt this t-shirt was a bit cropped which actually i didn't mind i know it's not everybody's um cup of tea to be uh, cropped the feel of this t-shirt is really really nice though it is a really nice feel t-shirt um the um actual quality of it feels like i lost my train of thought then um the quality of it i feel like it would actually last a really long time and wash up really really well this was 9.99 so not too bad just for kind of like you could use this for like layering or um like i paired it you'll see in the cutaway i paired it with my black asos wide leg trousers with the white strips down the side um some white havana flip-flops and yeah like a black bag i think i did and it was just a really nice easy um 
outfit, everyday outfit to put on. This is a really nice t-shirt and actually I think I'm definitely going to keep this because I do get a lot of wear out of my t-shirts. Um, and I don't have a t-shirt that is this kind of length. This is cropped but not overly cropped. So um, I think it, it looks nice with maybe high leg trousers. If you don't like showing off your tummy area then I would say a wide leg um high waisted pair of trousers would go really well with this top but yeah nothing more to say about it than it's a really nice quality t-shirt so definitely gets a thumbs up i keep looking down i'm really sorry guys because i'm looking at my phone so i can keep track of the um the pricing so yeah really really like this definitely gets a thumbs up so next we have this kind of like a t-shirt dress it's a midi dress it's definitely like a t-shirt style at the top it feels like it's cotton with like some stretch in it. it does have elastic around the waist here and i really like that detail so instead of it being just a t-shirt dress they've um added this uh, little bit of elastic which i love because it draws in your waist gives you a bit of shape i really like this dress i will say it was a little bit snug around my tummy um and you could see sort of a bit of my tummy so i wish there was a little bit more material on the bottom half of the dress just to have a yeah a little bit of more sort of a uh, baggy fit around the bottom but i mean apart from it being slightly tight on the tummy area it was really nice. It, I mean, I don't know if you guys will even notice on the tummy area, but for me, I could see it and I just, yeah, I, the top is quite baggy. So I thought that the bottom bit w wasn't kind of like lining up with the bottom or actually, no, I am smaller on the top and I have a larger tummy. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I just wish it was a little bit bigger on the bottom. And I think if I sized up, it would be too baggy on the top. So yeah, keep that in mind. I did actually order this in a white as well. So I'll show you the white. Um, it The white is a bit... Let's, I've got it behind here. Okay. So, yeah. It is a white one here. And um, I've got it inside out. So, yeah. It is... This is the white one. It's inside out. Sorry, guys. But um, it, I would say it's more on off-white. So it's not a complete bright white, but it's an off-white. I really like this. And yeah, I, I, again, it was too snug around my tummy area. So these will definitely be going back. But I would highly recommend them. They feel absolutely lovely. Like the material feels beautiful on this. And it actually feels like it would wash up really well. I'm just going to have a look and see what the... Um, so it's 100% cotton. Really, really nice dress. I would recommend them. But if you are sort of large around the tummy area, I'd probably say size up. Thing is for me, I don't want to size up too much because I don't, I don't have the biggest bust and I just feel like it would be really too baggy on the top half. So for me, I'm just going to send those back um, because I do have t-shirt dress still in my wardrobe that I got from, I think... Um, I think I got it from New Look a couple of years ago. So, and it's a bit of a smock style. Doesn't have the sort of tightness in the um, waist to give you that um, sort of kind of drawn in look. But um, it's a really nice dress. So I think I'm just going to send those ones back. Anyway, so next is this top here. And I just loved this detail. I loved it. I just thought it was so, so nice. Can you see um, this pattern which is so beautiful it does have like these kind of pooky out sleeves that um kind of stick out but I, I love that um and you do have this tie up bit here so you can leave them down or tie them up you could do whatever and you've got this lovely sort of embroidered flower pattern on both sides here and then the back is just plain so this was quite kind of like a loose fit which i really liked again it's in the xxl and you'll see where i paired it again i think i paired it with some wide leg trousers and some sandals just a really nice clean fresh looking top to go with um, a wide leg pair of trousers for the summer and i just felt like it was a really nice look um the material of this is a little bit see-through if you can see is i don't know if you can see that but it's slightly sheerer than um some of the other tops that i tried on but nothing too major and yeah overall i just really like this so yeah it definitely gets a thumbs up for me so one of the last items was just this plain white vest so i'm going to turn it because it's the other way around 
um it was just a plain white vest and i actually forgot i even ordered this so i can't remember how i paired it up but you'll see in the cutaway it's just like a plain white vest and actually this is ribbed and this feels so nice this is definitely going to be kept and i just love the piping around the edge is so it just feels a really nice quality it's super duper soft it's got so much stretch in it um i'm I've, I've got it again all in an XXL, so 2XL, which is, I'm sure, 22-24. And, yeah, it's just a, a plain white vest, but you could use this for layering, it, a nice under um, blazers or whatever, um, little jackets and that. And, um, I, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep it. It was really, really nice. I don't know how much it was, but it'll be on the screen. Um, so, yeah, thumbs up for this one. So, my lovelies, that is the end of my H&M haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I would have stood up, but after trying all those bits on, my knees are absolutely knackered. So, I hope that you didn't mind me sitting down and kind of showing you the items like this. Um, do you know one thing I'm really happy about is it's like gone 7 o'clock in the evening and it's still light. So, it's 7.38 and I'm actually able to still film and use natural lighting. Um, I've got my little mirror here which has got lights around it. But it's still light so I'm still able to film and get an okay quality uh, video. So, really, really happy about that. Um, I did want to say something else to you guys. What else is I going to say? Oh, yes. I did order one other thing, but I forgot to take it out of the bag. Um, it's a blue shirt, and I will link it down below, but I'm not going to try it on now. Um, but I will say, I ordered this because I don't own a, just a plain blue shirt. And actually, I'm going to do some videos for you, um, which hopefully I'll be filming tomorrow if I feel okay. Um, and I'm going to do you some videos that are styling videos. So they're going to be Pinterest inspired videos. I've seen so many women on YouTube doing Pinterest outfit, recreating Pinterest outfits. But there's just none of no one out there that's doing it that is a plus size lady um they're all sort of straight sizes and so i want to represent the plus size the plus size community and show you different outfit ideas and inspired through pinterest because i love looking on pinterest and again i've popped in pinterest and put plus size on trend um outfits 2024 and there's hardly no plus size um inspirational uh videos or pictures with plus size women wearing sort of on trend for this season and stuff like that so i really want to recreate some of those outfits so you will see that coming soon um, i'm really excited to do those videos because i love fashion i love styling clothes and i hope that you guys will get some inspiration from these um these videos i know that not everybody looks at pinterest and not everybody sort of knows what things go with what and how to dress their body shape so i will over time over the knowledge that i learn from me sort of watching and learning through other people and it, you know if it makes sense especially for the plus size body i'll be able to relay it to you guys and hopefully you guys can get some ideas on you know what shapes work better for your body and what colors are good for you and just how to pair things and yeah just feel inspired so i hope this video um has inspired you to try something uh new and um if you liked anything in the video comment down below let me know what you liked let me know how you would style any of the items i would love to see and hear how you would style them in different ways to what i have um but this has been a really good haul i honestly am so happy with this haul because the last last h&m was such an epic foul although it done really well on youtube people loved it and it got a lot of views um this one is so much better because there's so much more um that will you know make you think oh i want to order that because all the others that we that i did in the other video it kind of if i watched it it would put me off a h&m and i'd be like i'm not ordering because the sizing's really bad and nothing worked for jody so you know i'm not ordering it but this one so many of these pieces are really great and the prices are really really good so yeah anyways i'm gonna end it there i hope you enjoyed today thank you again for watching and i do look forward to seeing you all in my next video take care and god bless Mwah. bye guys